The Baldwin County Commission is zeroing in on a new emergency management director. Commissioners have whittled down the list of potential candidates to three, and they plan to interview them next week. But the big concern involves the actual contract. Fox 10 News reporter John Rogers joins us in the studio with more on this. John? Bob Moniz, the big issue is the length of this contract. It's only five months. The EMA director contract runs through December, and then it's up for renewal. So when they interview these three candidates next week, this will be a big topic of discussion. In this tough job market, Baldwin County has been ready to hire, but they've been having a hard time finding someone to fill the spot. In April, the EMA director position became vacant, and since then, commissioners have been actively looking for a replacement. But the contract only runs until December. To bring your family or whatever you have, uh, that's, that's asking a lot. Hopefully that that will not be a uh, deal killer. Already some candidates have expressed disinterest because of this contract. But the commission is pushing forward. It has narrowed the list of prospects from 71 down to 3. The candidates have extensive backgrounds and will be invited for interviews sometime next week. If we find the right person, we want them to be here as quickly as prudently possible. Commissioner Dorsey says the county is well prepared for a hurricane, but it needs a leader for unexpected emergencies like train accidents. The commissioners we spoke to are optimistic but hesitant. It's been a lot of work trying to fill this job, so they just hope they can find the perfect candidate who's willing to risk a short contract. We've got to do something because I know that our interim uh, director right now has give us uh, a drop that date of uh, August the 16th and she's not going to do it anymore. The interviews next week will be public meetings so when we have the information we'll let you know. In the meantime if you'd like to learn more about these candidates we'll have their resumes on our website fox10tv.com.